So the next type of poem we're going to try is a concrete poem. Concrete poems show words written in the shape of a picture. The words become the picture of the poem. It does not have to rhyme. So if you write a poem and your subject is a lollipop, you can write the words in a swirly motion to make it look like a lollipop. If it's a feeling poem, you can draw an emoji of the feeling and use the words to make the shape. This one can be a lot of fun if you like to draw. This one is about a strawberry. The sweet red bite-sized treat sits waiting to be picked. A quick small hand plucks it up and pops it in a tiny mouth. Sticky strawberry juices dribble down from a crooked smile. One more, two more, maybe three. To go along with this type of poem is a book called Doodle Dandies. They're poems that take shape by J. Patrick Lewis. These are some pretty creative examples. Here's one about a giraffe. Tree tall giraffe up to his neck in brown and yellow patchwork quilts turns tail and hobbles away on wooden stilts. And all of the words make the shape of the poem. This one, I know you can't see the whole page, is a baseball field, and it talk, describes different types of pitches. The sinker comes as some surprise. It dies. The let-up pitch you can't resist, you missed. The knuckler wobbly, wobbling up to you can dipsy do. The fastball that you hope to poke is smoke. And so on. Here's a weeping willow, one of my favorite trees. It has branches that seem to kind of hang out down like hair. It says, her wind-woven hair softly sweeping, her wind-woven hair softly sweeping, softly sweeping, softly sweeping. In a far field of sadness stands the wee widow weeping. And they did the mirror image of the words to make the branches on the other side of the tree. The butterfly is the fantasy filler of every caterpillar. So those are some examples. So for my topic, I'm going to write about popcorn, one of my favorite subjects. So before I draw anything, I kind of know what I want to draw. I'm going to draw like a bucket of popcorn, kind of like this. I already have the sh shape in mind, but I don't know what I'm going to write, so I'm going to kind of brainstorm some words first. So popcorn obviously makes a pop sound, and we'll talk about some elements of poetry like onomatopoeia, which is the sound it makes. Pop, pop, pop. Um, it's crunchy. It's buttery. Um, I really love Orville. Oops. Orville Redenbacher, he was the master of popcorn. Um, it, it has to do with movie night. You kind of gobble it. Um, hot pan with oil. Can't forget the salt. Mrs. Kalstrom's popcorn is not necessarily the healthiest stuff out there. So crunch, you could do munch. Pop, pop, can't stop. Whatever kind of comes to mind can turn into your poem. Once I've gotten finished with brainstorming, then I kind of put it into my poem. So maybe I'll use my longer phrases down here for the container and my shorter phrases like pop, pop. In the top. Pop, pop, can't stop. Salty. Buttery. Goodness. Um, then down here. 
Orville. I shouldn't say is, because he's no longer alive, was the master. Hot pan, oil, kernels. The kernels jump, lollipop, and sizzle. And I would want to fill in the rest of my lines here. Crunch. Munch. Maybe I'd fill in some onomatopoeia here. Pop. Sizzle. Crunch. Pop, pop. Munch until it kind of makes the shape. So try some different topics. It could be a pet, and you could draw your poem in the shape of a pet. It could be a hobby. It could be food. The possibilities are endless. Have some fun with it. I look forward to seeing your poems. See you soon.